Sometimes, nature throws us a curveball. But this, well, this is a wild one. Picture this, a volcano miles beneath the ocean's surface, not only erupting, but harboring something truly bizarre. NASA calls it Sharkano. And yes, it's exactly as insane as it sounds. Kavachi, an underwater volcano in the Pacific Ocean near the Solomon Islands. It's known for its violent eruptions, spewing molten rock and ash into the water. But Kavachi is no ordinary volcano. Back in 2015, a research team studying the site stumbled upon something unexpected. In the superheated, highly acidic waters surrounding the volcano, they found sharks. Not just any sharks, though. These were species like the silky shark and hammerheads, creatures you'd expect to see in crystal clear open ocean, not in the shadow of an underwater volcano, where temperatures can reach over 300 degrees Fahrenheit, and the water that's so acidic it could dissolve metal. So what were they doing there? How are they even alive? Well, as you'd imagine, scientists were baffled. Normally, conditions like this would kill just about anything. The water around Kavachi is filled with toxic chemicals like sulfur and carbon dioxide, and the heat alone could be a death sentence. Yet these sharks weren't just surviving, they were somehow thriving. But then, something even stranger happened. In May 2022, NASA's Earth observing satellites picked up a massive eruption at Kavachi. And when researchers looked closer, they realized this wasn't just any eruption. It was unlike anything they'd seen before. When Kavachi erupts, it's like setting off an underwater bomb. Plumes of ash and gas shoot up and lava boils out into the ocean. But this time, the eruption wasn't just geological. It was biological. The sharks were still there, still swimming, right in the middle of the chaos. This is where things get weird. Some scientists believe that these sharks may have evolved to adapt to this extreme environment. Over thousands of years, their bodies could have developed unique traits, making them tougher, more resilient, almost mutant-like. Think about it. Their skin may be thicker to withstand the acidic water. Their metabolism could be altered to handle the toxic chemicals. And their ability to navigate in zero visibility. Practically super sharks. And Kavachi isn't just a volcano. It's an entire ecosystem. Alongside the sharks, researchers found other life forms. Jellyfish, crabs, and small fish all live there, defying what we thought was possible. This discovery challenges everything we know about marine biology. Because if life can survive here, where else could it thrive? But wait, it gets better. NASA got involved not just because of the eruption, but because Kavachi's extreme environment could help us understand life beyond Earth. That's right, this underwater volcano might just hold clues about alien life. Places like Europa, Jupiter's icy moon, have massive oceans beneath their frozen surfaces. If sharks and other creatures can survive in Kavachi's toxic, high-pressure waters, who's to say life couldn't exist in the harsh conditions of another planet? But let's reel it back to Earth for a second. Scientists have barely scratched the surface of understanding Kavachi's ecosystem. The volcano is incredibly active, and exploring it is risky. Submersibles can't get too close because the intense heat and pressure could destroy them. Even getting water samples is a challenge. It's like trying to study a tornado while standing in the middle of it. And here's the kicker. Kavachi isn't alone. There are other underwater volcanoes around the world, each potentially hiding their own secrets. Could there be more mutant sharks out there? Entire ecosystems we've never even seen. The truth is, we don't know. The deep ocean is one of the least explored parts of our planet. We've mapped more of the moon than we have of the Earth's sea floor, after all. For now, Kavachi remains kind of a mystery. A volcano that erupts mutant sharks sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie, but it's real. And it reminds us just how little we know about the world beneath the waves. Who knows what else is out there, waiting to be discovered. Until then, let's just hope these sharks stay in their underwater fortress. Because if they ever decide to venture out, well, let's just say I wouldn't really want to be swimming nearby. <laughs>